Today, my friends, we are making three non-out quality cocktails and one low ABV cocktail. So whether you think you had too much drinks at home in 2020, or you're simply looking for an alternative to know what to drink when you're not drinking, today's video is for you. So if you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. As I said, today we are entering a little more in depth the world of non-alcoholic cocktails and low ABV cocktails. I posted only one non-alcoholic drink on the channel before and apparently you guys liked it and asked me for more ideas. So I thought it would be a great opportunity to partner up with the first non-alcoholic distilled spirit in the world, Seedlip. So thank you very much Seedlip for sponsoring this video and allowing me to share with you some great ideas and alternatives for non-alcoholic cocktails and low ABV cocktails. Seedlip was founded in the UK five years ago and it's the world's first distilled non-alcoholic spirit. Each Seedlip expression is a unique blend of botanicals and flavors, and it doesn't contain any juniper, so it is not meant to be a non-alcoholic gin or mimic any other spirit styles. It is just a delicious and unique product with three amazing flavors. First, we have the Garden 108. This one is very green, bright, and crisp. It is the distillate of peas, hay, and English herbs. It is the perfect option when you want to have something limey, citrusy, and refreshing. Then we have the Grove 42. This one is really citrus oriented with oranges, lemon peel, lemongrass, ginger, and a hint of Japanese peppercorn. So no need to say this one will also work really well in refreshing cocktails, but also in spritz styles or bitter cocktails. And lastly, we have the Spice 94. In this one, like the name says it, it's all about spices, like cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, and a hint of citruses. For me, this one is the best pick when you want to mimic a stir drink or even a fall or winter cocktail. In the first cocktail of the day, we're gonna use the Garden Expression, and I call the cocktail the Garden Swizzle. So we're gonna start with two ounces of Garden 108. We're gonna pour that straight into a Collins glass. To that, we're gonna add one ounce of honeydew melon juice. Half an ounce of agave nectar. And half an ounce of lime juice. For the fresh melon juice, guys, if you don't own a juicer, it's not a problem. Just blend the melon into a blender until liquid, and then through cheesecloth or a filtering bag, pour your mixture and squish it with a potato masher. This is a trick that I stole from my friend Kevin at the Cocktail Channel, Cocktail Time with Kevin Cuss, and I've been using that for all my juices since then. I love it. And now we're gonna add crushed ice to our glass. And with a swizzle stick or a bar spoon, we're gonna mix all the ingredients. You wanna add a good dilution here and you wanna make sure that all the agave nectar is probably incorporated. I totally forgot we need to add five mil of olive brine. So we're gonna add that on top, it's not a big deal. We're just gonna swizzle a little more to incorporate that as well. And then we're gonna to top it all the way up with more crushed ice. And for the garnish, Kalamata olives, that's gonna pair really well with the cocktail. It's gonna release some delicious aroma. And this, my friend, is how you make the garden swizzle. Cheers. Hmm, hmm. It is very refreshing and super complex. There's some amazing green notes coming through from the Sea Lip Garden. The little salad notes from the olive brine ties this all together. And then you have that 
fruity flavors and fruity notes from the melon. I really like it and it smells really nice with the Kalamata olives. Do you want them both? <laughs> so that's it for the garden swizzle, guys. And now let's do the espresso martini. So this one is a recipe that I stole from my friend Max Kubais, who recently started to work as an ambassador for Seedlip. It is a delicious cocktail, a riff on the espresso martini with no alcohol. We're gonna start right away with two ounces of Seedlip spice. It's a shaken cocktail, so we're gonna pour that into a cocktail shaker. To that, we're gonna add one ounce and a half of cold brew coffee. One ounce of unsweetened coconut water. Three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup. And a pinch of salt. Now we're gonna fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. And then I'm gonna fine stir it into our favorite cocktail. For the garnish, we're simply gonna grate a little bit of nutmeg on top of the cocktail. Just like that, and there you have it, the espresso martini. Let's give it a try. Mm. This is delicious. It's really light because the cold brew is not as intense than uh, espresso would be. The roasting notes are paired perfectly with the coconut and the spices from the sea lip. It is a beautiful, delicious riff on the espresso martini with no alcohol. Good job, my friends. And now let's move on to the third cocktail of the day, the Jack's Grove. This one is highly inspired by the classic cocktail, the Jack Rose, which is usually made with rye whiskey, apple brandy, grenadine, and lime juice. But today we're gonna use sea lip and apple juice instead of the spirit. So we're gonna start right away with one ounce and a half of sea lip grove. It's a shaken cocktail, so we're gonna pour that into a cocktail shaker. And we're gonna add half ounce of sea lip spice. I thought it would be fun to mix both uh, expressions. They pair really well together. But if you only have sea lip grove for this cocktail, use two ounces and it will work just fine. To that, we're gonna add three quarters of an ounce of apple juice. Make sure to choose a pure pressed apple juice. And to that, you're gonna add half an ounce of good grenadine. And another half ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. And before shaking, we're gonna add a little pinch of chili flake to the cocktail. So now we can fill our shaker with ice and give it a good shake. And now we're ready to fine strain it into our favorite cocktail. For the garnish, we're simply gonna express some orange oil over the cocktail. And garnish it with it, just like that. And there you have it, the Jack's Grove. So now, let's give it a try. This is delicious. There's a lot going on, but it's perfectly balanced. There's a lot of complexity, citrus notes from the Seedlip Grove, a little bit of spices as well from the other one. There's some kind of clove notes that are coming through that is going really well with the apple juice. And there's one little thing that is very, very interesting. The chili flakes, they kind of give you like a little burning mouth feel, almost makes you feel like you're having a real cocktail. 
I really like it. So now let's try the fourth cocktail of the day. This time a low ABV, we call it the Pa Lo Ma. All right, so the low ABV cocktail of the day, because Seed Lip is the perfect option for non-alcoholic cocktail, it is also the perfect base for low ABV drinks. I wrote an article on our blog a few years ago called the ABC to low ABV, and I'm talking about my thought process when I'm creating a low ABV cocktail. I'm gonna link it in the comments down below. If you wanna have a read, it is actually, I think it is very useful if you wanna create that kind of cocktails. And there's one thing that I really like about this is I'm talking about using very strong and flavorful spirits in low ABV drinks because you don't have to use a whole lot of it. It will stand out and will make you feel like you're having a foolproof cocktail. And this cocktail is using the same method. And we're gonna use the Seed Lip Grove as the base. We're gonna use one ounce and a half of it. It is a built drink, so we're gonna pour that directly into our Collins glass. And then we're gonna add a half ounce of mezcal. Mezcal being our very flavorful spirit that will stand out and make you feel like you're having a foolproof cocktail. Third ingredients, two ounces of grapefruit, orange, and coriander seeds cordial. The recipe is actually in the blog post I'm talking about, so you can refer to it if you wanna make it on your own. Then we're gonna fill our glass with ice and top it with two ounces of soda water. With a bar spoon, we're gonna make sure to incorporate all the ingredients together. And we're gonna garnish it with a grapefruit wedge. Just like that, and there you have it, the Paloma. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm hmm, this is so fresh, bright and crisp. I really, really love this one. First notes that you get is the citruses. You get a lot of it from the seed lip, from the cordial as well. Then you get a hint of coriander seeds flavors that are pairing so well with the citrus notes. And then a little bit of smokiness from the mezcal with the agave taste that really makes you feel like you're having a full body, a foolproof cocktail. It's a lot of complexity, but it's really low ABV. I love it. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much, Seedlip, for sponsoring this video. If you guys are interested in getting a bottle of Seedlip, I'm gonna link some websites in the pinned comments down below. They are actually available in many, many countries, so it shouldn't be an issue for you, no matter where you are in the world. So once again, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers.